Hey everybody, it's Wade with the Kingdom Report, back here with another Eat Disney Dining Review. Mm -mm -mm. Are you ready to fill your palate with culinary delights? Well, our journey today takes us to the place where it all began, Disneyland Park, where in the late fall, it is ridiculously dry, chapping your lips and making you bleed a little bit, but if uh, that's okay with you, and you bring your lip balm and you realize it's one of the greatest places on earth, well, then it's neither here nor there, is it? Yeah, no, it's not, not a big deal at all. Don't you even worry about it. So today we're heading on over to New Orleans Square, where we are ready to dive on into one of the most immersive lands that Disneyland has, and one of the last lands to be overseen by Walt Disney himself, a place with uh, two major table service options, both the Blue Bayou inside Pirates of the Caribbean, and of course Cafe Orleans, right alongside the walkways, the bustling walkways of New Orleans Square. But that's not where we're going. Nope, today we're heading on over to the quick service option in the French Market. Yeah, a place where they have quite an interesting array of dishes, a lot of different things to be able to choose from that are all Southern inspired, as it should be, because uh, this place in New Orleans Square definitely kicks it up a notch with not only the creativity, but the hearty fare, really making you feel quite at home in the southern bayou region of New Orleans. Oh yeah. And so with the French market, things were themed uh, at this time of year to the Haunted Mansion holiday, of course. So you take a look around and there's some decor on the poles there and the posts and the various uh, different signage uh, has some scary and freaky looking uh, nightmare before Christmas decor. You get that this time of year when Halloween and Christmas collide. But you start off at the salad station, custom-made salads for you, where cast members uh, happily decide to toss your salads and throw in anything that your hearts desire. And then you take a look at the hot well and all the options that they have there, from the po' boys ready for you to the house-made chips. But I decided today to steer away from that and instead go for something that I don't typically go for. Now, it has been about three years since I've had this dish, but I'm not a fan of spicy food. So I decided that today, because it's uniquely Southern and it's a little spicy, I'm gonna put myself out there, I decided to steer away from all the other options, from the chicken to the mac and cheese, and go with, that's right, the jambalaya. Look at that, right? Yeah, so full of hearty meat and dually sausage. You got your seafood in there. Mm. And you can't skip dessert when you come to a place like New Orleans Square at any of the restaurants. And I decided upon looking at all this, yep, yep, I'm, yeah, I'm going for the wedding cake, the Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary wedding cake. Now, remember this is quick service. So you got to grab your silverware, your napkins, and your utensils before you head on outside because there's no interior seating. Also something to remember here, especially as it gets colder and uh, things start to heat up during the summertime. You've got your various conditions that you got to definitely think about before you head on over to this restaurant. Now, as I had mentioned, the Creole seafood chicken and andouille sausage stew over Louisiana rice is this dish. Now, hearty is the name of the game when you look at this plate. But no doubt a satisfying portion of food uh, to definitely fill you up. Now, this is a restaurant where the seating is rather limited outside, especially during popular times. Again, it's about 2.30 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And look at how full it was. I mean, still quite full for that time of day in between meals. And typically, you get the added enjoyment, added entertainment of a band playing back there. They were on a break. But as I dove into this dish for the first time, I started to realize... You know, this, this isn't hot. Um, in fact, it's lukewarm, and that's what I ended up getting. I had been sitting here for maybe two to three minutes before I took my first bite, and this was lukewarm, which was really disappointing to me because I expected it to still be hot. I took it straight from inside right to my table. I think I waited in line for one or two people ahead of me at the register. It was not busy by any means in terms of waiting between uh, the point where I got it and the point where I ate. And the other thing that really disappointed me about this restaurant and this visit in particular was how untidy things were. You take a look around, every table had debris, had food particles. It was gross, and I saw a busing team nearby, but they were all talking to each other. Nobody seemed to be, uh, well, all that focused on the guest experience or uh, cleaning anything up. I saw tables with, you know, a bunch of different plates stacked up and trays, and Really disappointed me. Very, very unfortunate. And then I decided after all this food, I don't think I could possibly go on. But then... 
I remembered who I was, and I dove right on in to eat Disney's favorite segment. That's right, dessert. It's dessert time, the Haunted Mansion 50th anniversary wedding cake, which of course is packed with buttercream frosting, cherries, cream cheese filling, and finished with a splatter of cherry sauce. Yeah, do you want to murder this thing as much as I murdered it? No pun intended. I mean, it was light and airy, and that uh, cherry sauce really added a special kick to this in a good way that I wasn't expecting. Really nice and tart. Definitely satisfied my sweet tooth. $7.99, though, for even a novel uh, sort of 50th anniversary celebratory dessert. I mean, it's a good slice of cake. Not $7.99 worth, though. Uh, I would say $5.99 to $6.49, somewhere in there. Better price point for it, definitely. And if you're looking for reasons to visit the French market, I would suggest the following. I mean, it's got great live entertainment when it's there. It wasn't there for me this time, but typically playing their jazz music, making you feel right at home in New Orleans. And then, of course, the location and theming. You look around this place, and from the street vendors to the bustling sidewalks to the train station, you have your open, wide vista views of the rivers of America, and then, of course, the Haunted Mansion nearby. Can't beat that. And then the unique menu of all of the down-home comfort food all add up to, you know, when done right, pure Disney magic. Now, wasn't necessarily feeling all that magical on this dining experience. In fact, some of the reasons I would encourage you to skip the French market might just be, uh, well, the untidy atmosphere is getting to a point that I can no longer ignore. On a lot of trips now, this is a consistent problem. No one's cleaning up. Trays are stacked up, plates are everywhere, food is all over the ground and tables, and the cast members that work both indoors and outdoors aren't necessarily all that engaging. They almost seem like they're going through the motions and they don't really care. The other thing is limited seating, and I know that the restaurant can't do a whole lot about this. They're landlocked, there's only so much space, but during those peak times, lunch and dinner, it's a big problem. Uh, I see people walking around with trays full of food that they paid for and nowhere to sit to enjoy it. That can be very frustrating. And of course, the hot and cold times of year, even though they roll in the heaters during the cold months, there's only so much that can be done on that front as well. So all things to consider when uh, you might be deciding whether or not to skip the French market. Just an added note, on the back side of the French market is the mint julep bar, and oh, hello there, sir. You want to grab yourself some uh, Mickey beignets and some mint juleps? They have their own dedicated line out the back door. It is always long, so keep that in mind. But it's Kingdom Report card time. The French market, oh, I hate doing this, but C plus for the French market this time. The only reason I share this uh, in frustration is because it's better than this and has always been better than this. But the last few experiences I've had here have led me down a path of great disappointment from the mediocre cast member interactions to how uncleanly the place has become. Uh, all the way down to, I mean, the food was lukewarm at best, not even a hot plate during this visit. All very disappointing and something that, again, I think the French market is above, and I hope to see them turn it around real soon. Well, my friends, if you enjoy our content, if you like what we do, remember, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you got us. Uh, just make sure you're subscribing and clicking that notification icon to be reminded of all the new videos we have. And, of course, Kingdom Report Live on Instagram and the Facebooks if you haven't already. It's been fun dining with you. We will see you next time. I've been Wade, and this is the Kingdom Report. Welcome to this happy place. Welcome.